Hi everyone, what's up? It's Josh here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be brewing cold brew immersion coffee using the toddy cold brew system. This is the two liter home toddy. There's also a larger toddy commercial cold brew available that holds 15 liters. The toddy home brewer comes with a brew container with a handle, a glass decanter with a lid, two reusable felt filters, and this rubber stopper. This is a very practical and repeatable method of cold brewing coffee that makes coffee without the bitterness that's a very smooth coffee concentrate. It's also great at making cold brew tea. To get started brewing with the toddy, all we're gonna need is 200 grams of coffee beans and two liters of water. We wanna be using coarsely ground coffee. This is an important factor, making sure it is as coarse as you would say use for French press or slightly more. Otherwise it will clog up the felt filter when you're draining out your brew. Now I've used the Baratza Encore grinder to grind my beans and next I'm gonna place the rubber plug into the bottom of the toddy brewer. You don't have to jam it in there too hard for it to work. And then I'm gonna pre-wet one of the felt filters and add it to the bottom of the inside of the brewing container. And we're gonna pour in 250 mils of cold water first before adding our first half of our coffee. And this water will prevent the coffee from sticking to the bottom of the container. Then pour another liter of water in a circular motion and we're trying to ensure all the grinds get wet adequately. Once that's done, add the last of your coffee and water in the same fashion. Now you don't want to stir at any point, or either folding in the coffee very gently to the water, or patting it down with the back of a spoon will help in getting any of those grounds that are still high and dry underneath the water. But once that's done, you can add some wrap to the top of your toddy and leave it on the bench or in the fridge for at least 12 hours, but 24 if you can wait that long, the longer the immersion time, upwards of 24 hours, the richer the brew will be. When the time is up, hold the toddy brewer over the decanter and remove the plug, and then let it rest on the decanter to drain out. It should make around 1.2 litres of cold brew, which is definitely more of a coffee concentrate that you can add ice to or dilute down. I recommend one third concentrate to two thirds of your favourite milk or water. With the lid on the decanter, it'll be good to keep in the fridge for at least two weeks for a convenient coffee whenever you like. I've even heard people warming it up for a hot coffee in the morning. In cleaning the unit, you just discard the grounds. They make really good compost if you want to get rid of them that way. Remove the felt filter and give this a really good rinse or even a soak in hot water. And you also want to make sure that you store all of your used felt filters in the fridge, say in a sealable plastic bag to avoid any of those off flavors from developing inside the filter. However, you can reuse these filters several times over and they are available online along with the rubber stoppers to keep your cold brew system going. And that's the Toddy cold brew system for you. It's an immersion cold brewer that makes delicious cold brew coffee, straightforward and repeatable. If you have any further questions on the Toddy cold brew system, then throw a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. We'll get straight back. And don't forget by hitting that little bell icon on your screen, you get notified when we bring out videos just like this one every week. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, and we'll see you next time.